Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you graph equations where you just have either an X or Y and equals a number. So uh, just a variable equaling a number. Um, so for this example, I'm going to show you how to graph Y equals three, and I'll show you another example with an X. Uh, so, uh, in one of the previous videos or in your algebra class, you were taught to use slope-intercept form for most of your problems um, of graphing a line. Uh, this, we won't use slope-intercept form. Uh, we're actually going to use the, the most basic form of graphing, which is a t-table. Uh, so, we're going to draw a t because this will help us um, show why... The graph of this looks like the graph this is. So if you remember the t-table, uh, the left side is the x and the right side is the y. Um, and let's just start putting in some inputs. Uh, let's put negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and our y, okay, so we have these inputs, our x's. Okay, and if you Notice there isn't an X here, but it says Y equals three. So what if X is negative one, what does Y equal? Well, it tells us it says Y equals three. Even if this is negative one, it still says Y always equals three. So this Y is three. Okay. Uh, when X is zero, what does Y equal? Y equals three. When x is 1, what does y equal? 3. x is 2, you guys get the point. y always equals 3. Why does y always equal 3? Because it tells us in the problem y always equals 3, regardless of what x is, because there isn't an, an x there to input anything. y always equals 3. And so now let's see how this line looks. Uh, let's plot these points with uh, our highlighter. So negative one, so this is our x value. So we start at the origin, we'll go to the left at negative one, and then up three, one, two, three. Uh, now here is x is at zero, and then we'll go up three, one, two, three. X is one, and then one, two, three, or y right there. X is two, and then our y is up three, and then three, and then up three. Look at that. So if we connected all these points, take our straight edge and just connect those points and just keep on going, we will have a horizontal line, a horizontal or a sidewaysies line. Okay. Uh, so horizontal, like a horizon. Okay. It's, it's sideways. Um, when, whenever our equation is just y equals a number, We'll have a horizontal line, okay, at, and this one's at 3, so y always equals 3, whatever the x is, okay? Now let me show you what happens when x equals 3. I think you could imagine it, but let me show you uh, y just so it sticks in our heads forever. So instead of using slope-intercept form, uh, let's do a t-table, x on this side, y on this side. Okay, this time, if you notice, x always equals 3. So we can't change the x because x always equals 3. So we'll put 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. There's no y, but let's put in some, uh, some numbers. Let's assign some numbers for y. So let's do this. Uh, negative 2, uh, 0, 1, 3, and 4. Let's just some random numbers. But here we can't assign numbers other than 3 for the x because the equation that they give us is that x always equals 3. So um, let's plot these points. So x is at 3. So remember x is is the horizontal axis so uh, here's three and then y is at negative two so we're going to go down to one two x is at three again and y is at zero so we don't move up or down x is at three one uh, x is at three one two three 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 is right there and x is at three and then we go up four there and 
Now let's connect those points and I'm sure you guys can imagine how this line is going to look like. Like that. Because no matter what Y is, this X, this line is always sticking to where X equals three. So it gives us a vertical line or an ups and downsies line. Uh, so just remember that uh, the difference, okay? So when you have an equation where it's X equals a number, your line is going to be vertical because it doesn't move left or right. It stays rigid, stays there where the X, uh, whatever the X equals. So I said, if it said X equals five, there'd be a vertical line where over here, if it said X is equal to negative four, then this line would shift over here and it'd be a vertical line right here. Okay, but if we have an equation where it's y equals 3, okay, it's always sticking to where y always equals 3. It's a, it's a horizontal line, okay? Um, and because y always stays at 3. It doesn't, go, it doesn't move up or down, okay? Uh, so if you forget that, what, if some students forget, okay, x means vertical horizontal, y means vertical horizontal. If you forget, then make a t-table and then just plot those points and it'll help you remember. And then, um, yeah, and then you'll get it correct every single time. So hope this helps. Um, yeah, this is Mr. Q. Have a great day.